Just uh, back with another video. Just want to react to a video of Brian Lilly from the Toronto Sun, just basically exposing Trudeau uh, using these abortion you know, scare tactics to try to convince people to not vote conservative. It's just a pretty quick video. We'll uh, take a look at that and then we'll react to it after, like uh, like usual. How bad are Justin Trudeau's poll numbers? Bad enough that they're reaching for the abortion scare tactic already. Hi, I'm Brian Lilly, political columnist for the Toronto Sun. Trudeau normally jumps on the abortion card when things are near the end of the election cycle. Middle of the writ, they'll start yelling about abortion. But right now, he's been talking about it, not just because there was the, the pro-life uh, march, the March for Life that happened the Thursday before Mother's Day, but because they are trying for the last two weeks to use this as a scare tactic because they're 20 points down in the polls. And Trudeau and his liberals are losing in every single demographic group, whether it's young people, older voters, men, women, students. They're all abandoning the Trudeau liberals. Even every religious group across the country has said, no, the majority or plurality of them are voting for either the conservatives or, in the case of Muslim voters, the NDP. But Trudeau and his liberals aren't getting the backing of anyone, not in significant numbers. So they're turning to the abortion card. They're turning to the Charter of Rights card. They're turning to try and use any scare tactic they can to get voters to reconsider their support of Pierre Polyev and the Conservatives. I don't think it's going to work this time. Sure, it's worked in the past to a degree, but at this point, I think voters are actually done with Trudeau, and it doesn't matter how scary he tries to make Polyev or anybody else seem, voters just don't want to see Trudeau's face anymore. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment. Yeah, and you know, he, he nailed it, right? I mean, it's, it's just, Pierre Polyev has, has made it very clear, and a bunch of, of his MPs has also said the same thing, where you know, they said they're not going to touch abortion. And I was also watching, you know, some Northern Perspective last night. And if you guys don't know what that channel is, definitely check it out. It's very good. Uh, but they were sh showing that even if conservatives wanted to try to change laws on abortion, they don't have the legislator to do it. They need more, like way more than just conservative MPs to vote for it. And obviously the Bloc, the Liberals, and the NDP aren't going to vote for it. So even if Pierre Polyev and the conservatives we're making a point of this, which would be career ending. I mean, if you're in, in a liberal, socially liberal country like Canada, you can't go after abortion laws. It's just Canadians won't accept it. I think like 90% of people in Canada agree with these laws. You're going to get trashed in an election if you do this. People would literally choose Trudeau over um, Pierre Polyev if he were to do that. It would be political suicide. I mean, he knows he can't do it. Trudeau knows he doesn't even want to do it. It's a scare tactic because he knows he's losing so badly in the polls. And no matter what he does, no matter what he says about, you know, capital gain taxes or climate change or whatever he wants to talk about, people are, they've had enough of him. So he's trying to make Pierre Polyev sound like this super bad guy. Oh, he's going to take away your rights. <laughs> You know, things like that. He wants to get rid of abortion. He's like Donald Trump. It's just, it's all these things. The only people who agree with that are people who are already voting liberal anyway. He's not going to gain any support with his stupid, you know, cry wolf pol uh, political scare tactics. It's, it's, people aren't going to hear it. People are, are done staring at his face, as, as Brian Lilly said. They want someone else in there. Trudeau's time is, he's, he served well past his time. Let's just put it that way. Everyone knows he needs to go. At least the overwhelming majority of people knows he needs to go. People are not moving over to the NDPs because they're the ones you know, holding us hostage to this government in the first place. So, like, what's Trudeau have left? Well, he's got to try to scare people. He's got to try to lie to people. Because he knows if he tells the truth, even more people would leave the Liberal Party, right? He, he, he has no... He has no merit. He has no legs to stand on. He's destroyed a country for nine years straight. It's not going to get any better. All he's doing is just pandering to his own crowd. It's not going to work on independents like me. It's not going to work on people who are more libertarian minded. And it's certainly not going to work on conservatives. It's just not, you know, I don't know what to tell you, old Justin Trudeau, but it's it just your time is number. Your days are numbered. Okay. You're going to have to apologize to your buddy, Klaus Schwab, who I know wants you in there. But Canada doesn't. And Klaus Schwab doesn't get a vote. We do. 
And we've seen what you've done to the housing market. We've seen what you've done to groceries prices. We've seen what you've done to the, not just the housing market, but the renting market. We see the inflation. We see the gas prices. We see this woke, purple-haired politics bullshit over and over again. We see you sending money over to Ukraine when there's homeless people here. We know that you want to bring the, the Safe Supply Act to Toronto, even though it's been a nightmare in B.C. It's like the one good thing that Doug Ford has done in terms of a, a conservative standpoint, because he's not really that conservative, but considering you know he said he would fight tooth and nail on Trudeau with this, well, good. Someone has to, because of course Olivia Chow agrees with Trudeau, of course. The NDP liberal coalition that's out here to, to destroy the middle class, make sure that everyone's either sick or addicted to drugs or whatever, just to make it easier for them to eliminate the middle class so that in the very near future, you have an only elite donor class or poor people. That's their end game. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Trudeau is not too stupid to want to try an, a, a safe supply program that has already failed miserably in one place in Canada and try to bring it to another place in Canada. He's not doing this because he's stupid. He's doing this because he's evil and he wants to see this. He wants to see big cities destroyed. Because the more thing, the more problems <clears throat> that are created, the more people will look at the government and say, oh, we need help, we need help. And next thing you know, the governments, they're helping with everything. They're not supposed to help with everything. They're supposed to help where we need them to serve us, not interfere with every part of our life and enact policies that destroy people's lives. Kids can't even go to the park in BC anymore. Why? Needles everywhere. He sees that. And he goes, hmm, let's put it in Toronto. Let's do that too. You're, you would have to be either stupid or evil to do that. I refuse to believe he's too stupid. I refuse to believe that. And I do believe that it's because he's evil. And I think a lot of Canadians are feeling the same way. In fact, I recently just put out a poll. It's one of my highest uh, viewed and commented on polls. It's not like it did thousands or tens of thousands of numbers, but most polls that are taken for, you know, like in, in the States, like Quinnipiac, I think their polling out numbers are like 2,000, 3,000. Now my 500 is much less than that, but I asked my viewers and people who view my channel on YouTube if they think that Trudeau has committed treason. Let's see here. So there was 533 votes, 100% said yes 100 percent. there wasn't one person that said no yes 533 is a very small sample size that being said you think you'd have a couple people who would say no not one person which should probably tell you a lot of how a lot of canadians are feeling right now they think trudeau is not just a bad prime minister he's the worst prime minister and he's so bad that he has actually betrayed the country in a treasonous way and they want him in jail and you know what to be honest with you i can't say i don't i don't i can't say i blame them so that's going to be it today for this video guys i'll be back shortly uh we did just hit a thousand subscribers as of yesterday so thank you very much for doing that uh, please don't forget to keep hitting that like button hitting that subscribe button so that we can continue to grow and you know, invest some some money into this uh, podcast and, and grow it as much as we can. Uh, thanks so much for watching again, guys, and I hope you have a great day.